Hello and welcome to Connectors. In this lesson I will introduce you to some of the more common um, power connectors that you may encounter within the theater. Again, these are the, just the common ones. I'll start with the most common and then we'll kind of move forward from there. Probably the most common connector that you'll run into is going to be the Edison plug or the parallel blade U-ground. A parallel blade U-ground gets its name because it has two parallel blades and then it has this U-shaped ground. As you look at this connector, you'll note that the ground is the longest connector. It's longer than either one of the two hots. Any connector that you encounter, the ground will be the first conductor that makes contact. The ground is a safety and so you would always want to connect your safety first. You can even feel it as you start to plug it in that the ground makes contact with something before the others are even inside of that connector body. To connect them, you just press them firmly together, right? And to disconnect them, you just wiggle them until they come apart. Yes? Uh, parallel blade U-ground. Uh, rated at uh, 125 volts and uh, 15 amps typically. You can get a 20 amp version, but 15 amps typically. That's that. Now, the next one is um, an IEC cord. IEC stands for International Electrical Connector. You'll often see this on computers, on computer power supplies, and increasingly on a lot of equipment. If I'm a vendor and I make a piece of equipment, I may sell it internationally. And if I go to England or China or Japan, their power systems are set up on different voltages. Rather than make an entirely different piece of equipment with a different cord for China or for the UK or for Spain or Italy or the US, I can just make a different cord, right? and then I can plug this into my piece of equipment. You'll often see it on computer power supplies. This is a power supply that's been modified to work on LEDs. This transformer will automatically detect how much voltage it's getting, whether it's getting 220 volts in the UK or whether it's getting 110 volts in the US or 120 volts in the US. So it is a universal connector that can then all you have to do is replace the cord to send it to a different country or to plug it into a different power supply. IEC, International Electrical Connector. Yes? Now, something that you may see have seen less of, but you will find often in the theater, is a stage pin connector. Here is a stage pin connector. Yes. And it has three connections, just like a parallel blade U-ground. And you'll note the center pin, the ground, is the longest connector, right, of the three. It will make contact first, which always ensures that the safety is connected. To connect this, you just push the two together and you keep pushing and wiggling until it's fully seated, like that. And then we avoid taping. We should never need to tape connectors. We'll go over that in a different exercise and wiggle it and pull it apart, just like you would in Edison. Okay, so now on to the newest connector that's taking over the world, and it's called a power con. Power con is a, like an IEC cord, can handle a variety of voltages and is designed to go internationally. If I make a piece of equipment, this is one of our LED fixtures, and if I make a piece of equipment that then can work all over the world in a variety of different voltages without changing any settings, I wouldn't want to put a very specific 120 volt connector on there or an Edison connector. I want to put something on there that allows me to plug it in anywhere uh, without being terribly specific. The PowerCon allows that to happen. PowerCon is a locking connector, which means that once it's in place and turned, it's locked. It won't come back out. This connector is now locked in place. Blue is power in. Blue is power in and it releases with this little silver slide. If you slide that out and then twist it, you can then remove it. 
the same thing to insert. Just push it all the way in, twist, and you'll hear it click. Now it's locked and it won't um, come apart, which is a wonderful feature compared to an Edison connector, a pin connector, or even an IEC. Now, when you think about either stage pins or Edison connectors, you may think about twofers or plug strips or power strips where you can plug a lot of different things in all in one place. PowerCon does not allow for that. PowerCon does power in and then it does power out. The white is the power out. There are no plug strips for PowerCon. Same thing for the power out. You insert the connector, twist, and it will lock in place. This then could run to the next fixture down the line. I have not discovered a power strip. You will also note that these connectors do not plug in end to end. I cannot make an extension cord out of them. They are both insulated. Even though there is a male and a female, it's more accurately a power in, which is blue, and power out, which is white. So that's PowerCon. These are taking over the world. These are wonderful connectors. They are very safe at all voltages. They have no exposed conductors. They lock into place once they're installed and they are very reliable and very easy to assemble. PowerCon. Thanks so much.